Hi everyone. I hope that you're having a great Friday. I'm so excited to see you or imagine seeing you, but at least you can see me, right? <laughs> um, so I hope that you're all having a great day. I'm so excited to have you here to do our STEM program with us today because this is a really fun one that does have a delicious take on it at the end. So what we're going to end up doing is we're going to go through our kit, look at the different materials, and then this uh, STEM project in itself is actually going to have a moment where we go through everything, and then after that, I'm gonna let you go and just experiment, uh, which is a lot of fun. So like I said, I hope you're all having a great day. And today we are going to be doing our candy pumpkin structure stem. Uh, try saying that five times fast. We're using candy and other materials um, in order to make a tower or a structure. Now, all of our towers or structures are gonna look completely different which is why there is no wrong way to do this STEM, um, but it's very hands-on. We're gonna be learning about engineering. Um, if you have paper at home or either um, crayons or colored pencils, regular pencils or pens, um, you may wanna grab that and some paper as well because you may want to take a couple minutes to draw out your tower, make a blueprint of it. Um, and like I said, if you also have a ruler at home, that would be helpful as well because you can actually measure how tall you're actually able to make your tower. Sometimes during the year, um, we do this with marshmallows, which is also a lot of fun. But this is a little bit more challenging. Um, this one is with actual candy. So let's go ahead, if you haven't already, and open up your kit, okay? And inside, you should see an instruction sheet. You should have a bag of candy here, okay? With delicious looking pumpkins and candy corn. Uh, so if just so you know, these are not gluten free. I did look it up. So uh, if you can have this candy, feel free to eat it at the end. Um, if not, maybe you could substitute it for something else. Uh, but it looks fun to play with anyway, right? And then you should have some uh, toothpicks as well. So when we have our buildings or skyscrapers, it always has to have a good solid strong foundation which is why we have our pumpkins here today because hmm do we think these are the same size or do we think one is bigger than the other what do you think is this smaller than this one no this is bigger than the candy corn right so we're going to use our pumpkins as our foundation and then as we go taller up our building we're going to use some of the candy corns now this is the part where I really want you to use your brain, okay? We're all gonna start knowing that we're using pumpkins on the bottom, but I'm not gonna tell you how many pumpkins to use, um, and I'm not gonna tell you in what direction they should go. So you have how many toothpicks again? A bunch, right? <laughs> Don't feel like you have to use just one in each spot. If you'd like to make something stronger, you can use two to make it a little stronger or even three. Um, but your goal for this STEM program today is to use all of the candy and toothpicks that we have in order to create the tallest tower that you can. And when we're done, if you have a ruler at home, you can definitely measure to see how high, but if not, you can use your arm even to measure and see how tall your tower becomes. All right, so I'm gonna give a countdown from five. All right, ready? Five, four, Three, two, one, get started, friends. Ready? Go! All right. I think that's about as tall as I'm going to make it. <laughs> Another thing you could always do, like I said, too, is if you have um, paper or pencils at home, you could always draw out what you were thinking it would turn out to be. Um, and you could always test it with a different material to see um, how that would work differently. So like I said, Play-Dohs, marshmallows, um, anything like that. Um, but it is a little bit, it's one of those programs that going in, I don't, we don't talk necessarily about the sugar heat aspect until the end, because um, it can definitely throw a wrench in there. And it actually does happen even with the marshmallows sometimes too. You'd think it wouldn't but sometimes they get really, really sticky. Um, and then 
it's kind of almost like Jenga, you know, that, well, maybe you guys don't know that game, but where you have the wooden <laughs> blocks, um, because what happens is if it gets stuck to you, it starts to move and it starts to move before you let go and it might create your tower to collapse. <laughs> so either way, feel free to mess around with this a bit at home. Um, but I hope you guys had fun and um, I would love to see you at another STEM program and I hope you had fun.